Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Dr. David Maurer with Hilton Head ENT Sinus Allergy and Hearing Center stops by the show today to talk about new treatments for chronic and recurrent sinusitis. Dr. Maurer, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. And so tell us a little bit about any no new procedures for treating sinusitis. Yeah, we're excited. We've been uh, bringing a new procedure where we dilate a sinus drainage blockage with a balloon dilation. It's called balloon sinuplasty. And we've been doing it for years in the operating room, but now we've kind of refined the technique. The instrumentation has gotten better, so we're able to actually offer this now to many of our sinus sufferers in an office setting under local anesthesia. And that makes it much easier for the patient for the anesthesia side of it as well as probably on, on your end. It's it's a much better if they're a candidate procedure right. all, all said and done. A lot easier on recovery. Right. The process allows for people to get back to normal activities usually the next day if wow. not sooner that afternoon. But yeah, the excitement is just uh, pain, discomfort, uh, outcomes, everything has really, really improved for the right patient with the procedure. How do you know if that patient is a candidate for it? It takes a good evaluation. You know, okay. initially see patients, get a good history from them, see what sort of symptoms they have, which often are congestion, you know, discolored drainage, thick drainage down the throat, leading to coughing, facial pain, pressure, you know, the typical nose blockage, loss of smell. So once we get all those questions right. answered, we examine them, we do a scope in the office to see if we've got access for the procedure, and usually a CAT scan of the sinus, which gives us an anatomy internally of what sinuses may or may not be involved. And sometimes we're surprised that we don't find things and look into allergies and other possible things that can also cause similar symptoms. So a real thorough evaluation right. to find the right person. And so if they aren't a candidate for the office balloon, uh, office balloon uh, sinuplasty, so what are the other options? It's a lot of the traditional procedures, right. which again aren't bad, but again it's a trip to the operating room, a little more recovery, little things involved. Still uh, an acceptable process, but yeah, ideally it's nice if we can find that person that's a good balloon patient, a uh, little happier outcome and quicker procedure for them. And so is that procedure painful? and, and how long does it typically take to, to takes, actually? Good question. It, it takes about an hour. Uh, most of that's spent numbing the patient. We okay. do a lot of uh, just spray to make everybody comfortable. We premedicate them a little bit to relax them before they come in. And so people are feeling pretty comfortable and relaxed when they come in. The spray starts the numbing process. We increase that with a little bit of soaked uh, uh, numbing medicine that's placed in the nose. And then at the end, we're injecting some local anesthetic and often people don't even feel the injection. So maybe a little pressure as the balloons right. go up and as they open the sinus, there's uh, about a five to 10 second window if there is any pressure and then that's it. Wow. Done. Very, very quick yeah, procedure. And then yeah. the recovery is just as quick. Absolutely. We watch them for a few minutes in the office. They walk out. Uh, often we have somebody drive them home just because we sedate right. them a little bit. But right. uh, yeah, they generally walk out with a little Kleenex and off they go. Yeah. So you have these couple of things here. I'm going to let you kind of talk yeah, about those. This is the actual balloon device we're using. The company Intellis has really created a nice uh, handpiece that is flexible. So we're able to treat many of the sinuses, mm -hmm. you know, in the forehead, the cheek, and in the back uh, sinus we call the sphenoid. And the device is malleable, so we can actually place it in numerous sinuses okay. with uh, one setting and just a couple quick adjustments, which speeds up the procedure. The balloon itself is interesting. It slides on and off, and as we place this into the sinus, well, there's a light here that if I undid this, we place it in the sinus, kind of confirms where we're at. So we can visually see it, we can see the light, and then the balloon, just like a dilation of a heart sure. blood vessels clog, we, we place that. This pumps up the balloon. You can see that coming up right here, and that right. creates enough pressure to actually push the bony opening wider. Wow. We deflate the balloon, back everything out, and we're left with a larger opening, which improves the sinus drain. It's really clever. Yeah, process. it is very yeah. clever. Yeah. Absolutely. So, do all insurance companies cover this as an office procedure? Unfortunately, not. More and more are every month. Uh, it would seem that they would, because you take it, away the cost of the hospital and all the associated fees of the hospital. Absolutely, those yeah. are great numbers. As anything, a new thing they like to see data and experimentation. Everything's been. Right. Very positive on it. Right. Um, and we see more and more insurers every month coming on board. Um, so, yeah, the good news with our community, a lot of Medicare patients, Medicare has been covering it for oh, several years wonderful. now yeah. and, and all their secondary insurance. So that helps a lot of our community. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we've we got a lot of the bigger insurers coming on board. Every month we get another 
nice surprise that somebody else is covering it, yeah. And quickly, uh, how do people get a hold of the office? Um, we're at two locations. We have a Bluffton location in Westbury Park, and I've been on the Main Street uh, office location. Same phone number, 843-682-3955. Okay. We have a website. Okay, you know, good. And we'll uh, have that on the screen. Yeah, we have that on the screen, H-H-E-N-T.com, uh, uh, <laughs> Hilton com. So, yeah, we're easy to reach, yeah. Okay, good. Dr. Maurer, thank you. Yes. Great information. Nice Appreciate it. Okay. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.